and I must say, the biggest, the biggest and the most, uh, the, if I may say, serious challenge is this phenomenon of galamse or illegal mining on our river bodies. This has created huge problems for our water systems. And our concern, I must stress, is that if we are borrowing close to one billion US dollars to do projects, and the raw water sources are contaminated, polluted, and the machines will be drawing in mud. Where are we going? And what do we want to do with our water bodies? We have our own people mining within, in the river bodies and in the buffer areas. And this must stop. I am told and briefed that the uh, security, uh, regional security, RECSEC, they are on top of this issue. Very soon, we'll take some of you with us to go and find out the progress of work. But this needs to stop. We also have the challenge of intermittent power supply. And this is because any time the power is off, our machines go off, and it takes us time to also um, get to work when the uh, power is restored. We have obsolete electromechanical equipment that we are trying to uh, replace and work on them. Old distribution and transmission pipelines. For those of us who are younger than 60 years, who are below the age of 60 years, um, it's, we know some of these uh, pipelines were laid 65 years ago, uh, 60 years ago, and we need to replace them. We also have old distribution and, uh, yes, I've said that. And we have old meters that give us wrong reading. Now we have installed bulk meters to give us the quantum of water we produce so that we can account for. We have the phenomenon of non-revenue water, uh, which was as high as 54% in 2017. Now they've worked hard, Ghana company, water company has worked hard to reduce it to 45%. We're expecting more reductions. It means within the period, we're able to reduce it by 9%, MD, yes. So uh, we have that as a challenge. We also have a cha the challenge of illegal connections. And this is a very serious issue. Just yesterday, a resident in, uh, or of East Legon was caught red-handed. He had connected two big pipes into our main line and had denied the, the, the whole catchment area of water. When he was apprehended, and the, disconnect, the, the pipes were disconnected, immediately water started flowing in people's homes. But the most serious aspect of this crime is that people whom he had denied water through the illegal connection were buying water from him. He was selling water to them. Illegal uh, uh, connection, illegally selling water without permits. So I think the MD today, they are handling, handling that issue and he will surely be handed over to the police. And I hope he will pay up for the number of years or months he had uh, wrongly done, yes. And then also I have proposed that we start very soon doing a house to house uh, audit of the water we use in our homes so that those of us who have been denied water by others can have the water flowing.